So we have a serious video today because in the last video I had at least two and a half to three and a half uh, viewers asking me in the comment section why I didn't run a heat treatment protocol on the cheap $25 Damascus knife that I bought off of eBay. Because again, in the last video, we discovered that the cheap $25 Damascus knife that we bought off of eBay either wasn't hardened or wasn't hardened very well. It's really easy. If you're interested in seeing that video, I'm gonna leave a link to it at the end of this video in the end screen because sometimes I forget to put it in the description. Ah but you could check the description and just see if it's there. I guess it'll be a surprise for both of us. Now to tell you the truth, at this point in time, I'm not even sure whether or not the cheap $25 Damascus knife that I bought off of eBay is even steel. Uh, some people had commented, maybe it's zinc, maybe it's lead, even radioactive waste. So again, at this point, I have no clue if we're even dealing with steel here. Is this even wood? I think there's only one way to find out, which is to, well, dig the old one out of the trash and uh, throw it in the oven and see what happens. This is never a good position to be in. Never in a million years did I ever think I'd be digging this thing out of the trash. This just keeps getting better and better. There's a piece. That's a, that's a good piece. I think we've got enough. So according to the uh, eBay description, this is supposed to be 1095 and 15 and 20. Um, I have absolutely no clue what this steel could be. So the only thing that I have to go on is the uh, eBay description. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat treat this like I'd heat treat any other 1095. All right, so I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this on video, but I can file this I mean, this is like the most annealed, softest steel I think that I've ever seen. Yeah, if this is steel, to tell you the truth, I have no idea. It leaves a uh, really nice file shavings, that's for sure. But man, I mean, listen to it. I mean, it files like it's butter. All right, enough of that. It's not hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and foil wrap these in some old foil uh, for a couple of reasons. The first one is if this stuff melts at 1500 degrees, because I have no idea what this is, uh, to tell you the truth. It might not even be steel. So this is right here. I mean, I, I assume it is, but I just don't want anything melted all over the inside of my oven in case we have some weird stuff going on inside here. Ah, here we go. The other reason is, is because I would do this on any other 1095 or 1080 or any other blade that I'd be uh, normalizing. So we'll wrap it and put it in the oven for the normalizing cycles and then we'll unwrap it and quench it in Park 50 and see what happens.
Now oh, it says something in here. Two hours worth of heat treating to find out whether or not this is hard. Hmm. Let me try a new spot. Oh, yeah, that's not a good sign. heck just happened? Let's try that again here. Oh. oh, that was a good, good snap. Okay, good. So as close as I can tell, what's happened is <laughs> this piece, uh, it hardened somewhat, but it didn't harden enough to a point where it would skate a file. A file pretty much still ate right through it, but I don't think it's a 1095 whatsoever. I have no idea what kind of steel this is or what they did to it. So hopefully one thing that you can see here is just how much more refined the grain structure is uh, within the steel from when we started. What's the takeaway here from the $25 crappy Damascus knife from eBay? Sure does look like you got some good stuff there. First off, I think that the takeaway should be is that heat treatment is the most important aspect of a knife because even with a complete mystery steel, we were able to refine the grain structure and harden it somewhat. So if this knife had uh, that same procedure done that we did here today from the factory, we would have had a much better knife that we could have sharpened and actually cut something with. But because this knife had absolutely no heat treatment performed on it from the factory, as far as I can tell, uh, we weren't even able to sharpen it, which means that it's not even really a knife. So I guess I'll leave you with that. Heat treatment is the most important part of a knife. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.